What's up? Zachary King here with a Final Cut Pro tutorial. Just going to be showing you how to do the annoying orange effect. So let's get started. So to get this tutorial started here, let's grab our footage. I just recorded myself on a simple flip HD camera. And then we'll just grab in and out points. Put this on mute so we don't have to be distracted by the sound. I'm going to hit just in, in point here. Grab what I want. Out point. I'm going to drag this on the bottom layer here in Final Cut, and I'm going to match these settings, of course. Let's have it go here, and it wants the audio to be rendered. Actually, I'm just going to delete it for this because I don't need it. And I also have a picture of an orange, and I'm going to drag this on top of my footage, and I'm just going to crop it accordingly. Nice. Okay, so now what I want to do is bring up the scale here. You can do that one of two ways, grabbing these points or you can change it in your motion tab right here. So I pulled up the scale. I'm gonna match that right there. That's good for me. And then what I'm gonna do, select this footage here, the bottom, the voice, and I'm also going to crop this right here. So grab this toggle clip overlay button and we're going to lower the opacity on the orange just so we can match up the footage here of the face where we want it on the orange. You can see the face slightly behind the orange and we're going to match it up with the scale and whatnot and we're also going to continue to crop right here on the left side so we don't have that leaking out on either side of this white frame. So now I'm going to raise the opacity back up. We're ready to go. Select the orange and we're going to go to effects, video filters, matte image mask, mask shape, there it is. So then I'm going to go ahead and go to the filters tab here. It selected a shape rectangle, that's the default. I'm gonna go hit oval and we're going to invert this and there's a face. We're gonna start adjusting the horizontal scale, the vertical scale. I'm gonna move for this image and it's gonna change for the image you're using. Um, that's about good. I've got the horizontal on 16 and the vertical on 10. That's going to work fine for this. Now the easy thing here, I can just copy by right clicking, copy and paste using the key commands. And for this, I'm going to select it, grab the center and pull it over. Now realize that you do need to grab these centers here. You can't just touch it here. It doesn't work. That's going to move the actual footage. So when you've got this centered out fine, there we go. I'm going to copy this one more time because it's very similar to the mouth, which is going to be right down here. And we're going to have to adjust this a little bit more on the vertical and horizontal scale. I'm going to move the horizontal about to 21 and vertical, uh, not that much. Let's go vertical up to 13, 14 and change my center. Make sure when a mouth is open. See, it's not quite centered there. There, it's all centered. So this is looking good. Select the orange. You're going to see what it looks like here without the image in the back. And we're going to go to Effects, Video Filters, same place, Matte. We're going to grab a Mask Feather. And then that's going to blur out these edges so they're not so harsh. Go to Filters. It's been added. And I'm going to make that around 53. Let's try that. And so you're going to see there it blurs out. I'm going to actually keep it on 48. That looks good. So as we scroll through, we're going to realize that the mouth needs a little more room. So we're going to go to the shape. We're going to open up the, that would be vertical. Not that much. Right about there, 16. That's looking good. So now we just need to adjust the tint. We do that by selecting our lower layer, effects, video filters, image control, tint. Now it's going to turn to black and white, but we just want to go to the filters tab. We're going to select the eyedropper and we're going to select the color. And if that's not close enough, go ahead and select this color wheel. And I've got a, a more yellow selected here, which is going to match my footage. It's again going to change per footage. And then if you scroll through, everything looks good. There you go. You've got the annoying orange effect and it's looking pretty sweet.
So you can continue to adjust these things. Um, if you want to go in and adjust them, select your top layer, grab the mask that you want to adjust, the center, and I'm going to lower this down just a bit. So there is the annoying orange effect in Final Cut Pro. I hope you guys enjoy. Take care.